on the line. We have a very multicolored Honda. It says car two, it's Jay, James Pearson. It's supposed to be an Brought to you by Beyond Materials. I've made my two outer door moulds and their inner skin moulds. Now it's time to make the four copies and bring those pieces together to make my doors. I'm going to use three different types of composite materials and I'm going to make the inner door frames first for reasons that will become obvious later in the video. This inner door frame for the unused passenger side door will not be made in carbon fibre because that material in hand laying would not take up these compound curves properly. You'd have to vacuum bag it and I'm doing this without that. On a shape like this for hand laying it's best to use gel coat and fibreglass cloth and the weight difference between that and carbon fibre on a part this size, well it's not worth worrying about.
because the muscle hatch will carry no passengers in its fourth phase, side impact strength is not an issue when manufacturing this door. Instead, I can go for maximum lightness. The whole of this passenger door is going to be carbon fibre, but I'll use gel coat and light fibreglass cloth just for this door handle recess because those materials take up these compound curves better than uh, carbon fibre does just in basic hand laying. And it won't matter because you won't see it. The whole door is going to get painted when the car is put together anyway. By now you're all asking, how am I going to join the two halves of the door together? Most people would let this dry right off and bring the two hardened halves of the doors, the inner skin and the outer skin together. And what you would use, ideally, would be epoxy resin to glue them together. But wait a minute. What I'm laying up this door with is epoxy resin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the two halves together before this one sets and I'm going to use the epoxy resin of the carbon fibre layup to lock the two halves together. And that way <coughs> any of the minor imperfections and little bumps between the differences between the two halves will be taken up when I compact them together. Joining these two halves of the door together before this carbon fibre is out of the mould, let alone even fully set, ensures that the two halves will come together and retain the shape of the door without the twisting that is so often involved in a job like this. I've drilled holes all the way around the inner door skin so the resin will spill out a little bit and lock things together just like spot welds.
How did my carbon fibre door turn out? Well, I'm pretty happy with the finish. I've got the inevitable uh, little uh, blister holes and a couple of air bubbles. But as I said, this is going to be painted, so that'll soon be fixed with a little bit of car body filler. Uh, the inside of the door, inside white fiberglass framing, adhered really well using uh, just the layup resin itself. But the question you're all asking is how much does it weigh? Well, the standard uh, Honda door weighed 27 and a half kilos each. I can hold this one on my little finger. It weighs 4.3 kilos. That's a total weight saving with both of the doors on the car of over 46 kilos. I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching and I'll leave the door open for you. <laughs>